Good morning, Minecraft, and welcome to the world of Arch Spore with your host, me, One Wolf. And now for the show. Hello, this is One Wolf, and today I'm going to start doing some, uh, what is it, high altitude work. I'm gonna try and finish up my ceiling in my ballroom way up there where the clouds are so I'm gonna have to climb up there and do some interesting work but for the moment I'm gonna watch the, the sky brighten Oh, look at that. Somebody wants some food. <laughs> All right. There's one for you. And one for you. All right. Now that uh, the doggies are fed, let's uh, head up to the ballroom and get started on that ceiling. Um got an idea from uh, another minecrafter whose channel is uh, bleed spelled with numbers and not actual letters uh, I love doing that kind of thing it's it's interesting um, he posted a suggestion on Doc M's channel for how he was gonna do his ceiling so I'm gonna see if I can do something a little similar to mine um, with the half slabs and the lava to give it some light. So, but first I need to clear it out and kind of make a little, not quite a dome, but kind of a layered, a layered ceiling effect to it. So first thing I'm going to need to do is get up there and put up some scaffolding so I can start chipping away at it. Um, so here I go. I'll be right back. Okay, here I am up on the top floor of my ballroom and I've just started cutting away at the ceiling but I'm gonna start having issues when I get out there into the center and that's gonna be kinda hard to work in. So what I need to do is I need to start laying a layer of something to stand on. And generally I use dirt because it's fairly easy to clear away when you're done. Um, another choice I could use is wood because that's really easy to get rid of. You simply just light it on fire. Um, but it's harder, harder to get a hold of than dirt. Um, Another possibility would be wool. Wool could make a great scaffolding if you were able to collect tons and tons and tons of it, like I am with dirt. You just, once again, you'd light that on fire and it just clear the whole room and your scaffolding would be gone. But uh, I don't like the idea of throwing away scaffolding like that. Um, dirt is reusable and easy to get a hold of. So I'm going to lay out some dirt scaffolding and then uh, start clearing away all of this, uh, this rock and lay in a ceiling. And here is some partial work that I'm doing on excavating out the ceiling. So I've got a little small layer of dirt laid down and I'm cutting away into the ceiling. This is just the first the first cut. I'm probably gonna make it four six somewhere around there blocks high. Alright. I'm almost completed with my scaffolding and uh, close to finishing up the first layer of my ceiling or at least cutting it out 
and making room so that I can get to it. And there's the floor. And I turn around and my scaffolding is starting to grow some grass on it. Isn't that weird? <laughs> so here I am laying out some of the scaffolding itself. Oops, that was a mistake. Right, there we go. So I also noticed that I can use my light pillars to help me with uh, some of the scaffolding that I'm working on. Ah, getting carried away there. All right, time to do some more digging. It looks like I've got the first level of scaffolding done. And no, where did all these animals come from? Ah. Not cheap. Go away. Go away, guys. Go. Shoo. Get. Get. Scram. Get off my scaffolding. I don't want you in my building. So, uh, this is what the scaffolding looks like from above, and it's covered in grass and animals. No. Alright. Now I'm going to take a peek. Oh, no. I could uh, just drop down and show you guys what it looks like below. All right, there it is. This is the scaffolding from below. Hey, there's no grass down here. Yippee! All right, um, I'm gonna finish clearing out the the area above, and uh, we'll see what we get. Okay, I'm done clearing the ceiling so that I can start building the. Well, it's not quite a dome, but it's going to be a stair step. Um, I started placing the first ring around the, the ceiling. And the next thing I'm going to do is build stair step levels up to the top. And after that, I believe I'm going to try and dump some lava all over. And uh, going to have half slabs here on the edges. Hopefully the lava will shine through those, uh, providing some light to the interior. And once I'm done stair-stepping, I think I'll come back and we'll take a look before I dump the lava all over everything. So I will be right back. And here we are inside the first couple of rings. Um, I'm already reaching the ceiling, so it looks like I'm going to have to start clearing some of it away just a little bit more and uh, I think the rest I'm just going to top it off. Um, I'd like to get four rings out of it but uh, we'll see. Hmm. I'm up here in the cloud layer again. Uh, I was just getting ready to make my first lava test to see how it's going to flow and uh, the cloud came through. So, alright. Down we go. And I've added these extra channels around everything to hold and contain the lava so it's not flowing all over the place. Uh, there's something I should have added before I started digging out the ceiling up above because I started running into uh, pockets of water and they were taking out my torches and some of my paintings and stuff. So there is one stream of lava, and let's see what it looks like from underneath. See if that's going to do what we want it to. Uh, it looks all right, I guess. Um, hmm. Once it's all filled up, it should 
it should be bright enough. So, all right, well, I'm going to fill in the rest of this, this side, and we'll take another look at it. Wow, that is really scary looking. Uh, I don't want to go near it. Uh, oh man, it's not filling the corners. Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to... I guess I'm going to have to uh, put in the corners manually. All right. Well, that's it for my tests. I'm going to come back when it's all done. Be right back. Wow, that's actually starting to look kind of cool. Only about halfway done. <laughs> And that's four trips of lava. So I'm gonna keep uh, I'm gonna keep at it, and I'll be right back. All right, it's finally done. After three hours of carting lava back and forth, I finally finished my ceiling. So here it is. There you go. That is my new ballroom ceiling. And I was wrong about the the lava. Um, the half slabs are blocking the light, so it's actually pretty dark up there, which uh, makes a nice contrast. A little black and red. It looks pretty good. So let's uh, let's head down to the first floor and take a look at it. All right, here's my uh, 22 subscriber special. Um, now that I've got my ceiling finished, I was going to take uh, a little walk through my mansion to show off what I've got. This is my entry hall. Um, kind of a skylight up there. And here's... Uh, an airlock style door courtesy of the Sofa Bros. I think I got that right. And in my new main entrance, or will be soon, once I get it finished. And there it is the new ceiling, the lava lights. Down here on the lower floor. Um. So I wanted to say thank you to Bleed for his ingenious use of lava and half slabs. Uh, and he gave his uh, ceiling idea to uh, Doc M for his uh, portal room. And I thought I'd incorporate the, uh, the idea into my own ceiling. It's a, a four-tier lava lit up ceiling. I think it looks really nice in here. Don't have any other red around except for a couple of tapestries here and there, but overall I think the effect is pretty cool. So, uh, this is One Wolf saying thank you to everybody and have a good night.